Ezekiel 25. Now Ezekiel 25 is out of the out of order. This is after Jerusalem's been sacked. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites. Now the Ammonites are the children of Lot. Lot was the Abram was was Abram was Lot's nephew. And prophesied against them. And say unto the Ammonites. Hear the word of the Lord God. Well they don't believe in God. He's the Lord God. I don't care what your nation. Believes. I don't care who your religion exalts. I don't care is atheism. You don't have no God. The God of the Bible, Jehovah, Jesus Christ, is the Lord God, no matter what you believe. Thus saith the Lord God. And you bear in mind to what the words are, even if you don't believe. Because thou says, aha, against my sanctuary, the temple. When it was profane, when Babylon came and destroyed everything. When Judah was taken captive. You're going to see the enemies of Israel, the enemies of Judah, that they're going to celebrate. You see, what's going to happen when the Christians are gone, God's people? The world's going to celebrate. They'll probably have a Bible burning party. Antichrist will take hold into your marvelous church buildings and probably use them for indoctrination for the mark. I know some Christians and Baptists don't like me saying that. When it was profane and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate, this would be in Lamentations. Against the house of Judah when they went into captivity, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Saying, aha, God got them. They got what they deserve. Ha ha! Behold, therefore I, God, will deliver thee to the men of the east. That would be the Arabians. That's the children of Abram and Hagar, Ishmael. For a possession. All right, Moab, that's perfectly fine. All right, the Arabians are going to come and they're going to take your land. As Babylon came and took Judah's land. I will curse them that curse thee, Abram. Ammon is cursing Israel. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. They shall set their palaces in thee and make thy dwellings in thee. They're going to take over the land. They shall eat thy fruit and they shall drink thy milk. I will make Rabbah, which is a city, a stable for camels. And Ammonites, a couching place for the flock. Couching place where, where you bring your flocks and they, you know, they'll kneel and lay down and rest. You shall know that I am the Lord. Bingo, there he is again. How shall you know that I am the Lord? Amen. When your land has been taken over by the Ishmaelites. The Arabians. When you lost your land. For thus saith the Lord God, because thou clap, clap thy hand. And stop with thy feet, having a who down. Dance to the country music, I guess. And rejoice in heart with all thy despite against the land of Israel. They had a hoo-ha when Babylon. One of the minor prophets, I forget what it is, will deal with the with the Esau. And the terrible acts that Esau did against 
Judah when Babylon came. I think it's Obadiah. Behold, therefore I will stretch out my hand upon thee and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen like Judah. I will cut thee off from the people. I will cause thee to perish out of the country. I will destroy thee. Thou shalt know I am the Lord. There it is again. Don't mess with Israel. America's mess with Israel. For the realm of oil. And peace in the Middle East. America houses the United Nations which is against Israel. Thus saith the Lord God because that of Moab. That's the other son of Lot. Abraham, nephew, I mean Lot being nephew to Abraham. Behold the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. There behold I will open the side of Moab from cities, from his cities which are his frontiers. The glory of the country, Beth Shehmoth, Baal, knows the Baal, Baal worship. Meon and Kirchazim, cities in Moab. Unto the men of the east with the Ammonites. Will I give them a possession? The Ammonites may not be remembered among nations. So both brothers get it. I will execute judgment upon Moab. They shall know that I am the Lord. When God's word's been fulfilled, you'll know he's God. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because of Edom, that's Israel's brother, Esau. You know, when you got this conflict in the Middle East, they're all family. They all come from Abraham. It's one big family feud. And they're fierce. And if there's anything they have in common is they hate Jacob. They hate Israel. Because thou dwell, dwell against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. And is greatly offended. And revenge himself upon them. You stole the first birthright. And they're still carrying that grudge. Though Esau their father sold it. And their mother Rebecca helped Jacob get it from Isaac. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people lay against Jacob. Listen, Esau could say, "Nope, I don't want it for 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 pottage of beans. I'll go get something else to snack on." I mean, Jacob did not force himself to sell that birthright. It's the Bible says it's Esau who didn't despise the birthright. You got to read your Bible. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. I will make it desolate from Teman city. And day of Dedan, the city shall fall by sword. That sword is. The mainstream of the Middle East. I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. They shall do it in Edom according to my anger, according to my fear, fury. They shall know my vengeance. Save the Lord God. 
Edom will eventually be wiped off the map totally. Thus saith the Lord God, because of Philistine. Oh. Uh, that's not Abraham. Those are the Hamites. Those are the ones that plagued King David, plagued King Saul. And they've been quiet for a while. But they're still there. They have dwelt by revenge. The Philistines and the Israel have been having this revenge back and forth. And have taken vengeance with a despiteful heart to destroy it for the old the old hatred. What's the old hatred? Well, killing Goliath. God plaguing and, and taking and destroying Dagon the statue. David taking land and conquering land. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will stretch out my hand upon the Philistines. I will cut off the Cherethonites and destroy the raiment of the sea coast. Now keep your place there. Run over to Genesis chapter 10 about this. Genesis 10, verse 6, Ham, run down his family, verse 14, and Patharism, and Kosselhim, out of whom came Philistilian, there is the Philistine, and Capitum, there they are. So that's where we stand. So the cherubims, or cherubims, and destroyed the remnant of the sea coast. That would be the Mediterranean Sea. I will execute great vengeance on upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord. When, they, when I shall lay my vengeance upon. When God goes to action with his judgment, you'll know it's God. Unless you're a 2021 American and you think it's global warming, you think it's uh, uh, El Nemo, you think it's anything but God. When your insurance companies tell you an act of God. 